Hello, welcome to my channel. Today, to start with, I have a question for you. So, if you get a document that has two invoices, but these two invoices are on the same page as you see here. In this case, how can you extract these two invoices separately and extract the information from this? Any ideas? So, let's see in this video how we can do that. To start with, so this is my sample uh, document. It's just a one page document where I have two invoices here. So, what has happened here is these two are actually images. And let's see how we can use the DUI path document understanding activities to extract these two images from this page and do the data extraction from the two invoices. So let's get started. So I already have a flow created. I am using the UiPath document understanding activities package here. So just to be clear, I'm using the latest version of this activity package. So you can always download it through your package manager. And then I have a simple flow created. The first step is to select the file. So in here I'm using an attended flow. So I have a browse for file activity where I can manually select the file that I need to process. And as you have seen in my previous videos on this latest document understanding packages, these activities actually use a reference for the files. So to get the reference, we need to use the path exist activity. So I have explained this in my previous video as well. So here we select the file. This one gives a file path as output. And here I'm using that file path to get the reference for that file. And then this activity package also gives us this extract PDF images activity. So if you go here under activities, here you can see that extract PDF images activity. So what happens here is once you give the file path, it will create a list of uh, this i resource variables where you have the image. So it will not go and save these images in a specific location. It will just add those to a, a list kind of a variable. So all we need to do is use that output. It is a i enumerable uh, i local resource type as you can see here. So what we are going to do is we are going to use that variable in a for each loop and the property of this for each loop is automatically set as you can see it's not available here. So as soon as you include this variable it automatically takes that data type and inside that I have a extract document data activity. Now we are talking about invoices. So you can also use the invoices predefined model or if you want to use your own model that's already available in your AI center, you can use that. But here, since I just love using the generative extractor, I'm using that one, along with few prompts to extract the information from these invoices. So here I have the invoice number, vendor name, vendor address, and likewise. So here are the simple prompts that I have used for this thing for each field. So for the date, I'm going to extract it in this format, the order numbers in this particular format, line items I have specified a JSON to extract it, and here it will just uh, give it in a tabular form. 
So in one of my previous videos, I have also explained how we can use these prompts to extract data and convert it into a, a format where we can do for the processing. But for this video, I'm just focusing how we can extract information from those two images that there in the in the single page of that file. So this is the same extraction mechanism I'm using. And once you extract it, I have a breakpoint here and I will also create a validation task so that we can visually see how it looks like. So I'm not going to further process those. I will stop the flow from here um, as we are just looking at how we can extract the information. So this is the basic flow. Let's run it and see how we can extract the information and how it looks like. So once I start the run, it should give me a prompt to select the file from the location. So let's give it a couple of seconds. Let me clear this. Okay. So this is the prompt, uh, the file selection window. So I'm going to select this multi invoice file. So this is where we have the document. So now we should do the data extraction, basically identify those as images, extract the images and do the extraction for the two images. So let's see once it reaches this uh, breakpoint. Okay, so here it has reached the Breakpoint, but before executing this, let's also look at the output variable of this activity. So, in the properties is the extracted document data. So, let's quickly have a look at it. So, here is one image. So, it was able to identify uh, this invoice number 65578. And here you can see the uh, the results. So let's also execute this activity so we can visually see it in our action center. Okay, so now before executing this again, let's quickly have a look at our action center to see how it looks like. Okay, so now I'm in my action center. Let me refresh this. And here you can see the new task that got created. And as expected here, it's the image. So in the meantime, let me also open this uh, file in here. So you can see that it's just two images on a single page. But here in the action center, it is just showing only the part that it extracted. So basically that image, only one of those images. And on the left hand side, you can see all the extracted values. So that's how it works. The quality of the image is a bit low because I got a screenshot and created the file myself. Um, but yeah, ideally it does uh, a good job here. So now let's try to run it for the second image in studio and let's see how that looks like over here. So I'm going to continue our execution. Let's do a quick step into and it will be extracting the data and before creating the action let's also have a look at 
our variable here. So what you can see here is the previous extraction result. And this is the new one. So you can clearly see the difference. This is the second image. And let's also create the action and we can see how that one looks like. So I'll just hit continue. And now in our action center, let's refresh it. So we have both actions available. So we can visually see it again. So this is our previous one. And this is the one that we just executed. So in this one, you can see the second image in, that was there on that page. And here you can see the extracted values. So that's how this whole thing works. So basically the idea here is you can use any extractor uh, within the loop. I used the generative extractor because I just like using it. But the whole idea is if you have multiple documents, even on a single page, if it's a computer generated document, you can use the PDF activities to extract those as images and uh, process each image separately. Because I have also come across this question from many of the people and I have experienced it myself as well when you have multiple documents in a single page how to do it so this is one way of processing it so i hope this approach is clear and it is helpful and uh, thank you so much for listening and i'll see you in another video